Hey guys, it is currently 2.02 in the morning on October 1st, which means that we're in a brand new month as well as, um, <laughs> well, this month is a few things. Um, it is Preptober, which is the prep month for NaNoWriMo, which happens in November. Um, it is the month of Man of Darkness's release, which I've been working on basically all year, <laughs> um, as alongside all of my work in progresses, alongside all of my YouTube stuff, alongside all of everything else I've been working on Man of Darkness. Um, and that finally releases this month, and it's the last book releasing this month, or this year. Um, so hooray for that. <laughs> but, um, but it's a, it's a new month, everything from last month, although I didn't meet all my goals, obviously. Um, everything from that month is closed out. All of my stuff is starting new, so I'll be starting a new writing goal, I'll be starting a new editing goal, and I'll be starting a new stuff and things count. Um, and I'll do all of that later. I haven't done any writing yet this morning, so I haven't even touched my writing app yet. Um, but that's okay. We'll get into it eventually. Um, but I do want to talk through a few things that I'm planning on doing today, primarily, uh, and then maybe I'll touch on a few things that I plan on doing this month. But today, um, in specific, uh, on my flash drive here, this one, I have a couple more videos that I have edited together on the PlayStation, uh, for work in progress videos. I can't edit them all together. Uh, I can only edit each individual day because the pictures, like the cards for each day, uh, that I do aren't the correct resolution for the PlayStation, so I can't do those, so I edit the videos for those days separately and then I export those and save them to a flash drive and plug the flash drive into my tablet and edit them all together on my app on my tablet. And it seems, so far, to make the issues with that app occur less often, which is something. Um, I have three more videos left on there. Days 11 and 12, which is one video. Uh, 13 and 14, which is one video, and 15 and 16, which is one video. I want all three of those edited this morning, and then I'm going to start uploading 11 and 12. Um, I would like to film a Preptober video, uh, Prep Month for NaNoWriMo again, which I'm going to be doing after I'm done filming this. Um, and then outside of that, I'm going to go back and work on all of the books that I missed out on last month when I was working on Pittman's Legend King. Um, I also need to start the next book in the Pittman series, which is book four. Um, and I'll have to look up the guy's name and figure out what the meaning of his name is. I don't name my characters based on the meaning of their names. I don't care about that. They're people. They're not named after, like, if their character is strong, I'm not going to name them after some Greek god who was strong. That kind of thing. I'm not into that. If you are, that's fine. I'm just personally not. Um, but still, um, the Pittman's Legend titles are primarily named so that way the word that comes after Pittman's Legend, or the phrase, is the meaning of the name of the character who that book seems to revolve the most heavily around. Um, Jamal is the main character, but the main goal in each book, whether it's the main plot or the subplot, features another character. So book one is Pittman's Legend. That's it, because it's just about Jamal and his journey into joining the mob and, and all of that. It's Jamal adjusting to everything that's new. Book two is Pittman's Legend, God is Gracious, which is the meaning of the name Janice, who in that book, the subplot is their relationship. Book three is Pittman's Legend, King. Uh, Malik, which is how I pronounce it, but it's uh, technically pronounced, I believe, Malik. Um, but I don't know if I need to mess with the spelling to figure out how to make it pronounced Malik, or if I just need to have one of the characters say that it's pronounced that way, or, or what, but he's, he's not a Malik. I know that for certain. He's a Malik. Um, but I don't know how to fix it so that way it's guaranteed to be pronounced that way. But anyway, um, the meaning of Malik, when spelled M-A-L-I-K, is King, and I believe Arabic? Um, but either way, <laughs> Pittman's Legend King, book three, is because that book, the main plot, revolves around Jamal doing something because of something with his brother, 
Although I can tell you why the second book is named God is Gracious, I cannot explain any further than that for book three, or it would be a huge spoiler for the things that happen in book three. So I kind of have to keep that one closed off. Sorry about that. But um, book four is about a guy who is named either Dustin or Dusty. He's in my binder. It's over there. I don't know 100% which one is his real name and which one is his uh, nickname. I think it's Dustin, but I don't know. I created him years ago. So I don't know his name, but <laughs> um, I need to find out the meaning of his name because the book's plot will primarily revolve around Jamal's new partnership with him. Um, so that needs to happen today, and I need to start that book today. Um, I also have some books that I need to finish this month uh, because they need to be finished so that way I can start the next, next books in November, or at least attempt to finish them so I can attempt to start the next books on the first day of November for NaNoWriMo. I normally start four books in November, which is still the plan. Um, I know for certain one is a romance. I do not need to finish anything in advance for that, one of which would presumably be the next book in the Bo Austin Taylor series if I finish The Dealer, one of which would presumably be the next book in the Young Bo series if I finish Initiate the Boys, and if all goes really well, the next will be, book four, um, will be the next book in the Carper Baxter series if I finish book three uh, this month. But we'll see how things go. Uh, I have like 11, well, 10 books in progress at the moment, 11 once I start the next Pittman's Legend book. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, a lot of it revolves around video editing. I also need to do Man of Darkness stuff. I need to create the mock-ups for the covers so that way, A, I can film that part of the Man of Darkness beginning to end series, and so that way I can do the cover reveal video. Same regard, once the cover reveal is filmed, I need to upload those videos to Google Photos so I can download the videos for the cover reveal and the unboxing to a flash drive so I can edit them on the <laughs> PlayStation so I can edit them on my tablet so that way I can upload them and get the pre-order. Same regard, I need to do the ebook stuff for Man of Darkness so that way I can get the pre-order out. You do not have to have um, the ebook completely done before you put the pre-order out, but I do it so that way I can figure out what price to place it at um, because currently I have done the math and the configurations to figure out roughly the price of an ebook that I'm doing based on the number of pages that are in it and the cents to pay per page. So, I have a lot of stuff to do today, this month, this week, something, but I'm going to start by filming a Preptober video, uh, go from there, and I will see you guys at some point once I get into writing, but I am going to start by editing the next three work in progress videos and gaming while they're exporting, so I will see you guys at some point later on in the day. Alrighty. It is currently 8.32 in the morning, and so far I have worked on two books, I think. Yep. Um, so I worked on The Dealer, and I wrote 535 words there, and I worked on Initiate the Boys, and I wrote 552 words there. Uh, both took a while to actually accomplish anything in. It's been a while since I've worked on any of my books that aren't Pittman's Legend. Um, on the lesser ends of things, it's been seven days for some of them, and it's been ten days for some of the others. So, uh, I wasn't expecting things to go very well this morning, and that's pretty much true. Um, but my goal for this month is 170,500 words, and that is 5,500 words every single day. So this month we went up 500 words a day compared to the 5,000, um, every day written last month. Um, we'll see how it goes. Go from there. But, uh... I also opened up NaNoWriMo once I got back here to uh, start my project for <laughs> this NaNo, um, and they updated the site again uh, last month, which I knew, but I hadn't been on it since, and they deleted all of the stats for both of my Camp NaNo books because they combined the Camp NaNo site and the NaNo site into the same thing. Uh, when you type in Camp NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo, it leads you to the same site, um, and it deleted all of my stats for the last two Camp Nanos. Um, so according to NaNoWriMo, I wrote zero words both of that, those months. And I know I didn't, but it still bums me out to see it on the website, um, because the only way to get rid of those now is to delete them, because there's no way to go through, as far as I can tell, and manually put in your stats. Um, and I think 
They had this version of the website last year, um, but they also had the normal Camp Nano site available. Uh, so I was using the normal Camp Nano because I absolutely hated the way that the new website looked um, and the way that it worked and the way that you updated your stats. And I think I honestly couldn't figure out how to update my stats in the first place. Uh, but now you're forced to use it, so that's cool. Um, I'm still going to be doing Nano this month, but it's definitely a bummer. Uh, and I wish that it was just the old website. <laughs> I think the old website looked cleaner, personally. Um, you know, I get that there's a need for change and a need for updates and stuff like that, but I think that when something works for so long, it's just better to leave it that way, because dicking around with it leads to crashes and bugs and a lot of things getting messed up, and for instance, the stats for two entire months being completely deleted, both of which were over like a hundred thousand words. Um, so, you know, it's really cool. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that has slowed me down since I got in here because it was, it was a bummer to say the least. But, um, I'm going to go through and create another Google Sheets, unrelated to the nano thing, uh, to set up my October goals. Um, and then after that I'm going to attempt to work on JTS. I don't need to write a ton of that today. Let me find it in my thing. Um, an expectation of 32 words. I still need to figure out the timeline of a different book before I can continue a ton of work on JTS. I need to know when the hell this book takes place. I need to know what days it takes place, so on and so forth. There are some chapters that hinge on the fact that it's a Saturday, but depending on when this falls in the timeline of the other book, it might not be a Saturday at all and I'll need to rewrite those chapters. Um, so I'm kind of just biding my time, but I don't just want to let the book sit completely unworked on uh, in that time. But what are you going to do, right? I need to finish going through and doing the timeline for the other thing, but I've had so many other things going on with editing and writing and Man of Darkness stuff and proofs and cover design and so on and so forth, but working on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open up a Google Sheets, create a new thing for October 2019 goals, set out the goals that I know that I want to accomplish this month, several of which will just be the goals that I didn't meet last month, um, as well as goals that I did meet last month but still want to meet this month. Uh, like, every month I research something paranormal, every month I, I write down the fact that I want to research Police Academy, but I never do. <laughs> um, but yeah, the... Some of them will be stuff that I've already done other months, some of them will be things that I meant to do other months but haven't yet, and some of them will be completely new. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that, uh, and we'll go from there, but the goal today is 5,500 words. If all goes well, uh, I'll accomplish something in JTS and uh, the Carver Baxter book before I go to sleep, but we'll see how things go. Um, but regardless, I'll give you guys at least one more update before I go to bed. Hopefully. <laughs> Alrighty, it is currently 10.17 p.m. and I know for a fact I'm not going to hit the 5,500 word goal today. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm not going to accomplish today. I've been freezing cold all day, my one knee hurts like hell, and it's radiating throughout my entire leg, uh, whether I'm standing or walking or no matter which way I position my leg, but either way it's murder on my entire leg at the moment. Um, and that's making it pretty difficult to focus on anything. And then, of course, in addition, because I've been cold, my knuckles are sore, my knuckles are stiff. I have the gloves on, but, um, they just, they help the pain on my knuckles, um, but they still make typing feel heavier, so my knuckles still get tired, especially because now that they don't hurt, because the compression is on them, or they don't hurt as much, I can feel that they're tired rather than hurt. Um... So I'm not going to meet most of my goals today, which is fine. I have the whole month to make them up, whatever. Um, but at the moment, I am working on Untitled Mysteries for the Stuff and Things count, and I haven't gotten very far yet. Uh, well, that's more than I thought. I've written just under 300 words so far, give or take. Um, 
and still working on it but again it's 1019 so I'm not going to accomplish a whole lot uh, I'm not going to be starting Pittman's Legend today I'll have to start it tomorrow um, that's also fine things get pushed back um, <laughs> when it's pain related especially because I can't really control that I have days that it flares up and it flares up the worst uh, in my experience when it's cold or when I'm stressed out even worse when it's a combination of both but right now it's primarily just that I'm freezing um, I've had the heater on and off most of the day but it's only helped you know here or there um, but I'm doing my best so we'll see I hope things go better um, tomorrow I hope this pain in my knee goes away soon I'm wearing my compression brace on my knee but it's it's just managing <laughs> at the moment it's not doing much um, but you know maybe someday that pain will actually be fixed but we'll see um, but yeah I'm going to continue working on Untitled Mysteries and hope for the best uh, and see what kind of progress I can make but for my total written count so far I'm at 2237 which isn't even halfway to my goal yet so we're seeing uh, doing what I can going from there but keep working on Untitled Mysteries go from there and I will give you guys at least one more update before midnight, whenever that may be and however much progress it is. Hey guys, it is currently 9.34 in the morning on the second day of October. I just filmed a relatively long video uh, talking about numbers and stuff and then explaining this thing that I was doing uh, because I couldn't find the damn thing I was looking for, but I found it as soon as I finished filming, so I'm going to do us all a favor and refilm the video. So uh, I started with editing this morning. I started, I edited a chapter in TGV that was 1,681 words. Then I moved on to the Untitled Killer and Training book. Still don't have a name for it. I don't know how the hell to follow up a kick-ass name like Feckenhauer. <laughs> That's the name of the first book. I don't know how to follow it up for the second book. Um, but 104 words there. It's very slow going. Freddy is very young. He's been through a lot. It's called Killer and Training for a reason. Uh, and it's very hard to get him to s just sit down and tell his story. Uh, I'll get there eventually. The first book took me a year to write over a year so I have the patience for it um, and I'm not planning on giving up on him anytime soon but then I moved on to beatings from a butcher and that was 678 words things went very well there uh, I absolutely love the characters in it they're still relatively new to me but they're talking uh, I love James <laughs> uh, one half of my detective duo and Megan is definitely growing on me while she learns the detective career from James uh, I like it so far uh, and then I moved on to FTZ things are still slow there things are still just very small increments of progress because I still need to figure out the timeline of things and where this one needs to go uh, by finishing a different thing first um, but that was 74 words and then voice of the wild places Z 568 that one went well this morning too fallen blues 54 words that one was slow characters aren't talking very very much but we'll get there eventually um, and then I finally started book four of the Jamal Pittman series, which is Pittman's Legend Valiant Fighter. Uh, that is one of several definitions for Dustin. One of them seems to be Thor's Stone, uh, Valiant Fighter, and then Brave Warrior. But for the purposes of the Pittman series, Valiant Fighter works the best because despite the fact that they are literally the definitions of the names of the characters that are featured like the most heavily alongside Jamal in each book, um, they still relate to Jamal and in this case Valiant Fighter is something that relates to the prologue uh, pretty much immediately because before his little brother was born um, his mom made him promise to fight for his little brother or sister it was the 50s they didn't know <laughs> made him promise to fight for his little brother um, and keep him safe and be brave for him and stuff like that so it relates to it immediately uh, which is a nice change but the thing that I was looking for <laughs> during the long video that I filmed before this I was looking for the 1969 draft lottery numbers which is how they determined who went to war um, and that's featured in the Jamal Pittman series um, because Jamal is alive during that time it was 1969 um, 
and I was using it to try and figure out when the hell Luca's birthday was because their numbers are listed in God is Gracious. Um, and I went through and I was like 99% certain he's a June baby. And he is, if I can find out where he went. Yeah, so Luca is uh, was born on June 3rd of 1940-something, maybe 47. I would have to physically sit down and do the math, but he's like three years older than Jamal, and Jamal was born in 1950. I can't do the math in my head, but it does mean that Luca was born in the 40s. Um, but his number was 301, which means that he was born on June 3rd. It took me forever to find the one that's from 1969 and not 1970 or 1971, but I finally found it. Um, but chapter one takes place either right before his birthday or on his birthday. And since it's so early in June, I think I'm going to do it on his birthday. Um, but it's Jamal and Janice moving into the house that was being discussed in the last book. Um, and Luca's big, big butt is over there too. <laughs> He's like six foot something. He's a giant. Um, I don't think six feet is a giant. Every single guy I went to school with, except for like four, were over six feet. So, but he's like six five or six seven, somewhere in there. He's a big dude, so his big butt is in this chapter. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this one needed to start there, and I needed that number. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out what day of the week June third would be on in 1972 which appears to be a Saturday, which works out great. And I'm going to write that down so I don't forget it. And then I'm going to behave myself and go lay down. <laughs> um, I don't have, I haven't taken my sleep gummies. I took my last one yesterday, so I'm not tired. <laughs> um, but I am hoping that I can fall asleep and that I can stay asleep. We'll see. And that I can, uh, wake up at a decent time, but we'll see how things go. Um, it's been a month since I've slept without the help of the sleep gummies. Um, I mean, they're nothing special. It's like melatonin and bamboo extract or something like that, and maybe seaweed. Um, but they've definitely helped me keep a consistent schedule for sleeping. Um, so I'm just going to hope that I can fall asleep. I get more of them in today, but obviously not until later in the day. Um, because we were hoping that they actually had them at the Walmart we went to when we went shopping. But they did not, so we had to order them. And by then they, you know, arrived a day later than I needed them to. Which is fine. Um, but regardless of how I sleep, when I wake up, I'm going to start with Pittman's Legend. Um try to make some progress there. The goal for today is 990 words, and I'm going to do my best to write that. I'm at 574 now with the date added in there. Um, so we'll see what happens. I hope that I can write it. Normally anything between Jamal and Luca just comes like that to me. When they're together, they never shut up, which works great when you're trying to write a book and letting the characters tell the story. Never shutting up is the best option in the world, <laughs> so it's always good to pair them together because you know you're going to get a good couple thousand words most of the time. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out of some stuff here. Uh, I'm leaving the computer on. I'm just removing some tabs because I have a lot of them. <laughs> and then I'm going to go lay down and hope for the best, but I will see you guys sometime after I wake up with a Pittman's Legend update. Hopefully things go okay. We will see. Um, but I'll see you sometime, hopefully in the afternoon, but if all else fails, evening. Hey guys, it is currently 11.01pm and I'm going to go ahead and update you on the things that I've done since I last updated you. Uh, it's Wednesday, so I did have TV shows on between 7pm and 9pm, give or take. Uh, so stuff slowed down there, but I was still technically working, just not very quickly. Even slower than I was before, somehow. But with the dealer, I wrote 270 words. Um, initiate the boys, I wrote 420. I thought I had met the goal on that, but I was six words short. If I had known that, I would have worked on it longer. Uh, 
JGS was 278. Um, the Beating of Ekbal, which is Carver Baxter Book 3, was 650. And then Books and Badges, which I just finished working on, was 370. Um, I need to film a Camp Nano prep video quick, and then I'm going to move out into the living room and pick up with stuff and things, uh, which I'm going to be doing Untitled Mysteries for. If I were to meet the 5.5 thousand goal today, I would need 1,028 words. As long as things go okay in the living room, as long as my tablet is not super slow with typing, I will be able to meet that. To make up for yesterday, I would need 2,923 words, and I'm not going to meet that tonight, but that's fine. I can move that to tomorrow. See what happens. Go from there. <laughs> um, but... I, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm still very sore. Uh, I slept in today because I slept like garbage, uh, so I didn't wake up until like 5.30 when my mom got home. Um, so things were very slow. Things were very st slow to start up after that, uh, for progress to be made after that, but working on it. First couple days are normally slow, but I still got stuff I have to do this month related to writing, editing, Camp Nano, uh, Man of Darkness stuff, so got stuff to do. Um, tomorrow I probably, I'm going to do my best to do as much writing as I can in the morning, uh, before 7, so that way when I can finally get on the computer around 7.30, give or take, um, I can actually start working on Man of Darkness cover mock-ups and stuff like that, so I can finally film the cover reveal, so I can finally upload that in the unboxing, and I can put out the pre-order and all that stuff. Um, and the less writing that I have to do during my desktop computer time, the better. So we'll see how that goes, but I am going to film a Camp Nano prep video, uh, and then close out stuff here, move out to the living room, see how things go, and I will update you one more time before midnight with an update on how things went with Untitled Mysteries.